I'm Lance Yellington for Cyber Country. Chris, Derek, and Jake of the group River County describe their music as not for the faint of heart, and if you've ever seen them perform, you know that's true. Let's find out more about these Honky Tonk Originals in this Cyber Country Minute. I'm Jacob Heyman, I'm the piano player. And I'm Derek Wiley, I am the lead singer. And I'm Chris Presley, and I play guitar. And, and we're, we're River, River County. County. Now let me ask you guys, how, do you, how did you get together as a group, first off? Well, I started the band my senior year of high school. I was uh, in show choir with this guy, singing Footloose and Money Money and doing disco dances or something crazy. And picked this guy up at our high school talent show wearing baggy pants and black hair and black fingernails and head banging. Uh, we won the high school talent show that night. Just kind of got out and started playing some bars. And just kind of took off. So what's your favorite place to play? I just in front of a crowd for me. I mean, <laughs> anybody yeah, who watch us know. Uh, I like what's in. Yeah, we yeah. got a small local bar where we're from in Whiteland. Uh, it holds about 20 people, but those 20 people are normally drunk and crazy, and it sounds really good. <laughs> the craziest people. <laughs> we, li we like playing. We like playing the little small places. You know, it's always fun. Well, obviously, with the talent, I've heard you guys slam a CD. You know, you're going to be playing a lot more large audiences. That shouldn't be a problem going to a large audience, would it? No, actually, yeah. um, we got a we got a concert series in Indianapolis called Sky Concert that happens uh, uh, every year, um, and there's 400,000 people in the park and in our direct site. Uh, we've headlined it two years in a row now, and there's 40,000 just out in front of us. So, it's uh, I mean. One person to 40,000 people, we, we do the same show. So Same show, high energy, high crazy, energy. crazy energy. Fun. It's, it's awesome. So what's your favorite part right now about the music industry? What? The unpredictableness. Is that a word? Unpredictable. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I want to go. Because you never know. It's, it's always different. That's what, I, that's what I love about this career is that everything, it's always different. Everything's always changing and it's fast paced and you got to be on your toes. You know, it's, I, that's what I really like about it. The fact that we're given the chance to do what we love, I think that's awesome. I mean, we all share the same passion and want to share it with everybody else. And I think it's it's, it's a good time and we're excited, we're ready to get going. I like traveling and meeting new people. I always enjoy talking to new people, and getting to know new fans. And like, I like meeting people. That's a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> people are good. <laughs> they buy they buy stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Without without them, we would be nothing. So, well, let me ask you, what is your favorite song off your new CD? Me personally, uh, I'm gonna have to go with "I Thank God," just because nobody really knows what it's about, and I I like that leaving it open for interpretation. So I'm gonna have to say that's probably my favorite. You said there wasn't gonna be any hard questions on this test. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I think "Rock in the Country" is my favorite. I don't know. I just when I sing that song, I feel really good, and I feel like I'm introducing myself to the people watching. So I think "Rock in the Country" is probably my favorite. I'd probably have to go with uh, What a Real Man Does. I really like that song. I really like what it's, what, what it's saying. and uh, uh, kind of. I'm sure it hits home for some people, so definitely. Let me ask you, what is the difference between starting out as a band and getting to where you are today? Knowing the right people. That's definitely <laughs> the... Uh, we, we definitely lucked into that. We, we got hooked up with some great people down here and up home in Indianapolis. And I'd say that that's the difference maker right there is just who you know. It's, it's not really much different from back then to today. I mean, the, the core, the, the base value of everything is still there, but, I mean, there's just a lot more responsibility now. But, I mean, we still like to, you know, get down in the old honky-tonks and play, you know, for our, for our true close friends and family and stuff. So I don't really see too much of a big difference. You know, there's a lot of roots in music in Indiana, especially with people like John Cook and Nolan Camp contributing. So uh, how do you guys think that you're adding to the uh, history up there of the music in Indiana and and adding to this uh, big contract uh, drive pad, yay! Come on, Emmy! <laughs> <laughs> that thing got a Emmy. But, but how do you think you're adding to that? I, mean, uh, I think going? I think they'd be happy with it. I mean, we're we're adding something different, but at the same time, we're keeping it we're keeping it real, keeping it at home, you know. And I, I think I think they'd be pleased with it. There's a lot of a lot of actually talent from Indiana. A lot of people just go straight to Melancam, but Michael Jackson's from Indiana, and uh, Axl Rose is from Indiana. Uh, there's uh, Henry Lee Summer from Indiana, 80. But uh, I mean, I, I think we're probably the first first band to hit hit the uh, hit the more mainstream in the country market. Uh, I mean, unless you count Melon Camp, but his, his was, I call it Midwest rock. But um, I, I think they'd be pleased. You know, I, we we definitely derive a lot of our influence from from the people that we grew up listening to, like Melon Camp and stuff like that. So we hope they're pleased. I yeah. hope so. 
It'd be an honor. <laughs> why would somebody be able to come? Why, why would somebody uh, come out and see you? Why should they? If they want to be entertained, why not? We're the, <laughs> we are the craziest people. I will tell you, crazy. Once we, we get behind a guitar, get behind a piano. He tries to hide behind a mic stand. <laughs> it doesn't work. I mean, it doesn't work too well. But we need wider mics. It's crazy. I mean, why, why go see a movie when you come see us? You know? Exactly. exactly. And you're going to be entertained, and at the end of the show, we're not just going to walk away from you and go sit on the bus. We sit and talk to people. We sign autographs. I mean, you listen to the album, you get, you get a taste of what we're like. But I've always said, you know, there, there's a big difference. That album doesn't have the, the six feet of space in between the band and the, the people. You know, you're missing, that, you're missing that right there, and that's what makes us. Is just that a couple of feet in between the crowd and us, that's what makes us. It's not really just music, it's a lifestyle. So, way to throw that in. That's on the back Pound of it. Pound it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> How tough was it to pick all the songs for the new CD? Ooh, that was a trip. That that actually was really fun. We, we received about 1,700 songs to go through. Um, we, we definitely knew we wanted to put some of our own stuff on there. Uh, but, and then we sat and listened to these 1700 songs we had like 20 cds and we just we were like no 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 but the ones that we that were finalized at the five that we picked uh, from nashville were songs that as soon as we heard we were just like yes yeah <laughs> like we don't even need to go farther that is that is a song so the um, songs that sound like we would have wrote them yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah. Song, songs that really describe us and, and how we want to first come off to our fans you know so i, I definitely think people will be pleased with this album oh yeah well, once you guys hit it big, are you going to run the rest, the rest of us that helped you along the way? Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. I, Who are you? I, <laughs> my, my dad always told me not to get above my raisin, so I ain't, I, I ain't going to get nothing like that. So. There will always be fan party somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll come right back here this time next year and we'll okay. sit down. And I want to have a big like convention center in my basement with this, like open invitation or something. I'll tell you what, October 1st next year, let's do this again. <laughs> right here. Yeah, if we October can beat the guy that comes out here to do his laundry, though. Yeah, really? <laughs> I actually, I actually need a shirt iron to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now how are you guys going to get some clean undies? So. <laughs> I changed them last week. <laughs> I flipped them inside out, man. Oh. Okay, Derek, wait. All right, here's a new song <laughs> of our new album, which releases today. Very exciting. Uh, we heard this song and instantly thought of our hometown of White. When the song's called "We're All Here" because we ain't all there, so I hope you all enjoy it. Well, the sign says open the door down, so we call this place the pen. Well, the fans a little loud, we're a rowdy little crowd, but when we're not fighting, we're friends. Yeah, we're all a little strange, you can call us insane, nobody here will disagree. Cause we changed our Prozac for Johnny Walker Black and the Neon Therapy. Now we're all here. Cause we ain't all there In a world full of circles We got a room full of square hairs You know, there's a guy who thinks he's Elvis Who had a blood to swear she shared We're all here Cause we ain't all there Yeah, there's a hearty fat boy Rolling across the dance floor While the man plays pork to be wild the waitress with a broom chases him across the room. You never know she's having a shout. Yeah, you know, there's a scuffle over there, but nobody really cares. It's your sheriff and his deputy. Well, it's a strange kind of social, but it beats going postal and gets us through another week. Yeah, you know, we're all here. Cause we ain't all there. In a world full of circles, we got a room. Gray hairs. Yeah, there's a guy who thinks he's Elvis And a blood to swear she shared We're all here Cause we ain't all there We got some issues You know they're really strong That's what we're doing here The screaming goes on and on and on Yeah, 
Cause we have